Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video, the T on MPD and relationships. Hello, everyone. To all of my new subscribers and new family members, hello and welcome. And of course, to my tribe and family at large. Listen, y'all, welcome back. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video. Y'all know I love to always mention our Thursday night live streams. This is where we go from healing to wholeness to bonus. You don't want to miss that Thursday night live stream. That Thursday night live stream, I, be I believe that it will bless your soul and you know what read the comment section i always you know tell you all why don't you read the comments just look and see listen is this something that i want to participate in because i'm telling you we got the word of god going forth and the power of god and the prayer listen the lord meets us right here and i would love to to see you in the chat. I think it will really bless your soul. It will help you. And y'all know, and that's 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And y'all know every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 2.1K plus, plus, plus on the likes. That's if you rocks with your girl. Hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. Y'all, somebody, uh, one of our family members asked for that if you rocks with your girl. So I wanted to, you know, make sure that I give the people what the people want amen all right y'all so listen we're gonna jump into the topic of this video life after the discard according to the narcissists the lies they tell mm -hmm. the lies they tell y'all the narcissist has such a big ego that they don't want anyone to think that the discard was not within their control that's first off Second of all, they need to, if they didn't have control of the narrative, when the discard happens, then they're going to have to spin the narrative. And I know this is what really makes you, you all mad because you hear all of these horrible things that the narcissist has said about you in the smear campaign. And you're like, why is this person lying on me like that? Like, what is really going on? Okay, I'm going to help you with that. So I'm going to basically share with you what happens on the back side of what uh, of what the narcissist is doing and saying after you're gone because some people say well you know the narcissist don't look like they're struggling and this and that and the third or whatever they have a new supply well of course they're going to have a new supply board they get, they have to have that because they have to have somebody to help them in their little feebleness if that's what you want to call it but, you know, they're pathetic anyway. So when we talk about what happens or life according to life after the discard, according to the narcissist, the narcissist is basically a codependent individual with a huge ego. So this is what they're doing. First of all, when the discard happened, y'all already knew that y'all that the narcissist probably had somebody else and uh, they were stepping out cutting out whatever you want to call it and the narcissists act like they 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 really did they acted like they were big bad they acted like they you know they had it going on and everything else especially if they were the ones that discarded you and it doesn't matter whether they discarded you or you discarded them this is how the narcissist is going to spin it now after it's over and done with you know y'all taking pictures off of uh or you know facebook or whatever or or uh <clears throat> social media so the people are learning that y'all are no longer an item this is what the narcissist does because number one <clears throat> they're really afraid of the discard they know it has to happen but they're trying to always set it up in a way where they can manipulate you in such a way where you feel like you need the narcissist and make that make you codependent on the narcissist because they know that at the discard it could go either way either you could just slam i mean basically slam them with i don't want to ever see you again ever in life and mean it or you could, they could, uh, of course, leave you with no closure because that's what they want to do. And you can be running and, oh, I want to I wanna talk to you. Let's see if we can work this out, whatever. The narcissist knows that it could go either way. So according to them, they're going to try to always leave you with no, with no closure. This is what the narcissist wants to do. Now, once they've done that, if they were able to do that and they were able to do the discard or it don't matter if you were if you did the discard the narcissist is going to tell their flying monkeys and the family the clan of crows 
They're going to go and tell their family, and y'all y'all done heard about this lie, that you were crazy, that you were insecure. Um, you, they had talked to you several times about, you know, all of the things that, you you know, you were questioning them about stuff that, like, why are you questioning me? But they told, they're telling these people that you're questioning, you were questioning them about everything. And it was but due to the insecurity that, you know, you just couldn't trust them. And not only that, y'all know the biggest lie that they go and tell? One of the biggest ones is that you're insecure. No, you weren't insecure. The narcissist just created insecure situations for you. And this is what happens in the situation, okay? They, you, you went into it with your head on straight, with a level head, and you tried to see, okay, well, well what can I do? You know, I want to make this work in the beginning. But see, the narcissist, they don't, they don't see things that way. They always want uh, controlled chaos. You know what I'm saying? And they are because they can, they can actually thrive in that type of environment. But, you know, you went into it with a mind to try to make it work, or, you know, you didn't know that you were dealing with a whole demon. Now, the narcissist is telling everybody all of these lies. They're telling them you stupid, you crazy. They don't understand how you ever had a relationship in the beginning because uh, you, you, uh, your insecurities are way over the top and they just got sick of it. And not only that, they have the nerve to go around and tell people that you're jealous of them and you don't want them to be happy. Did you hear what I said? This is what they say. This is life after the discard, okay? This is what they say. Now, I want y'all to understand something. When they're telling all of these lies to the flying monkeys and the uh, and the, the clan of crows, they, there are some people in their family that already know it's a lie because they done told that same lie about 15 other supplies that they had before you. And some of y'all, when you were talking to the family members, the family members said to the narcissist in your face, let's try, now try not to mess this up. You know what I'm saying? That was your first clue right there that something was wrong with this crow, this pigeon right here that you was about to be dealing with. That that was your first clue. But you know, like me, I just went on right on past it too, didn't it? So they're telling them these lies because they got this big ego. They don't want people to think that something is wrong with them. That's why I tell y'all, the narcissist that people like, oh, the narcissist don't care about this and they don't care about that. I'm going to tell you, that's a lie from the pit of hell. The narcissist cares about what people think about them. Okay. They are into perception and image management constantly. Okay. So when you being grade A supply, you know, and whether you discard it or they discard it when you're no longer in their lives, y'all, they got to figure out something. They got to tell, they got to find some narrative. They got to spend some type of lie to let the people know or try to manage their image and perception to the people to let the people know, hey, it's not me that, that it has the problem. It's that other person. So, they are, they're working hard day and night trying to destroy your character, right? While all the time, watch this, and, th and y'all going to testify in the comments, while they're trying to destroy your character and they're telling all of these lies on you because they're, they're really codependent and they really know that they messed up. They know that they did. OK, they know that they done everything that they could to destroy the relationship, but it wasn't anything that they could do about it. Because y'all listen, when an entity is controlling your soul, narcissists do these stupid things to destroy the relationship. They do them unconsciously. So these are just behaviors that continue over and over and over again. Why? Because whenever you have a demonic influence, or I would just say in a narcissist case, it's a possession in their soul. You, these people can try all they want to, to, to do other things or to be, you know, a good person. But the truth of the matter is, is that they have to do that soul work from the inside out. These clowns need deliverance and they need about a million hours of it and about a three million hours of therapy. Okay, there it is. Bam. There you go right there. But they, they do all of these things unconsciously to destroy the relationship. Then when the relationship is destroyed, now they want to go back and lie. Now, all the time they're lying to, to the uh, flying monkeys and the family, that clan of crows, they're also trying to hoover you back.
You understand? They calling you. They trying to get you on the phone. They're calling you from all of these burner numbers. Then they'll. Then sometimes they just get real bold. If you haven't blocked them, they gonna call you from their number, calling you back to back to back. I remember one of our uh, family members said that they had over a hundred calls in a night from uh from one of these clowns. They become obsessive, you know, during that time. And y'all saw this. A lot of y'all saw it because the codependency hits that ego. You understand what I'm saying? And this is what happens. It collides. You understand? So the, the codependency, them, even though they have a new supply, they a lot of times, or they're dealing with the, the back burner supply, the old supply that they were with before, even though they have another supply, that codependency collides with that ego. And that's why you see them cutting the muck and acting the fool the way that they do and trying to uh, get your attention with a smear campaign. Get your attention by trying to get you through the kids. Get you through friends and family members. Try, they want your attention. Okay? They want your attention. Now, the reason that they're doing all of this is because they don't really have anything substantial to tell these people other than the lies that they've already told them. And by the way, the smear campaign lightweight started during the love bomb. That's why some of these family members are looking, out, looking at y'all crazy. You know, about two, three weeks after y'all had started dating, the narcissists start telling them little stupid lies, you know, right there at that uh, at that love bomb. But life after the discard is not pretty for them. They have to lie their whole way through this thing and hoping that they're going to be able to get you back at some point so they can redeem that ego. But see, when that ego collides with that codependency, y'all, that's why y'all get them lurking around, obs obsessing after you. Because if y'all done snatched up the power grid and y'all ain't answering the phones and y'all don't want to be bothered with these birds, let me tell you something. You're going to have a problem on your hands. You're going to have a problem. But they don't think about all of this when they are doing these things. The narcissist is just, they're just doing what they normally do. Okay. But after the discard, according to them, you were crazy. They had to let you go. You were insecure. You lied to them. You cheated on them. You did all of these horrible things. This is what the narcissist is telling everybody. Because they need to make people think that you were the bad person. And they need to feed that ego. to. And, and narcissists believe their own lies, by the way. Okay. But it always backfires on them, y'all. Because they know it's not the truth. And guess what? That ego turns on them too. That ego know it's not the truth too. So guess what? They be sleepless nights up trying to figure out how to get you back, how to, how to get back into your world. Because they know that their world is nothing without you. Even with that new supply. They tried the new supply. They, they, see, they didn't vet that new supply before they got with them. And they found out that that new supply wasn't as uh it, it wasn't popping and cracking like you right so this is what happens the lies that they tell and those lies eventually come back to haunt them because everybody don't believe it all right everybody doesn't believe what the narcissist is saying but this is according to them you know why they had to leave you and, and some of y'all gonna testify that y'all heard those same lies all right. So family, I love you all. Listen, take really, really good care of yourselves. All right. Take good care of yourselves. I will see you all on the next video, family. And I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. I love you. Peace.